thankfully this is the last time I'm ever going to have to record a vlog in this stupid bathroom and I'm pretty excited about that. it's Tuesday yay it's kind of interesting that you picked interview week for this week because I actually was thinking about making a video about the things that people always ask me when they send me interviews <laughs> for some reason everybody wants to know the answers to the same questions and they don't look up any other interviews that I've done so they don't know that I've already given out the answers to these questions like 800 times and people just want to know the answers to these things so hopefully by giving you these answers um, it will make it so if all of you guys ever decide that you need to interview me you will not ask them because you'll already know the answers today fat pink crochet kitty is going to act as every person who's ever interviewed me yeah. why did you decide to start a wizard rock band Lauren? I found Harry and the Potters online just randomly back in like 2004 and I really wanted to start my own wizard rock band because I thought it was a really awesome idea but I didn't have anybody to play instruments for me and I didn't know how to play any instruments well enough myself so it, I ended up um, going to see a few of their shows and I took Nina to one of them with me and after we saw that together she wanted to start a wizard rock band too so it ended up working out well that somebody I know who was really amazing at piano who's a good friend of mine also wanted to start a wizard rock band and that's where it began. Why did you choose Moaning Myrtle to write songs about Lauren? It turns out that most of the other wizard rock bands at the time were forming based on the name of a character and then singing from that character's perspective um, and we didn't want to pick a really main central character because that would just give us too many things to write about and we wanted to kind of narrow it down. We also thought it would be kind of funny to write from Moaning Myrtle's perspective because she's really emotional and gets really worked up over things and really excited and it's always really fun to write in an exaggerated point of view. Where do you get your inspiration for writing songs? Well, it's pretty obvious that my inspiration for writing wizard rock songs is usually the Harry Potter books. But I also write music about things that happened to me, things that I wish would happen to me, things that happened to me but I wish they hadn't happened to me, books I've read, movies I've seen, TV shows I like to watch, pretty much just about anything that I want to write a song about. I write a song about. Is Wizard Rock going to end as soon as the last book comes out? Yes, I think that the minute that Deathly Hallows was released, everybody immediately forgot the past 10 or so years that they spent sitting and reading really long, incredible books, and they completely forgot everything that it meant to them, and they had no memory of ever reading it, and they never ever wanted to talk about or think about those books again, despite how much they loved them. I think that no Wizard Rock bands will ever write any more songs, because we've clearly already written about everything that you could possibly write about in the Harry Potter series, so there's no room for anyone to still write any music. Really? We're really still getting questions like this. <laughs> I don't know about you, Fat Pink Crocheted Kitty, but I still really like playing Wizard Rock shows, and it would be really cool if any libraries out there or people who know people who work at libraries would want to still book Wizard Rock shows and would want to email me because then we could set them up and we could get all the Harry Potter fans who still are interested in the books who might want to come out and rock out with us. I think that would be fun, don't you? Today is awesome because I only have two days left of college. Unfortunately, there are two days that are going to really, really suck. Lately, instead of studying for finals and finishing up all my presentations and my thesis and everything like that, I've been thinking that I kind of want to give like my YouTube page and my website and my new Tumblr account kind of a makeover because I'm getting kind of tired of the bright purple and green that everything on all my websites always is. So I'm trying to come up with some new catchy kind of design that I could use for all those things, but I don't really have any ideas. Um, I mean, Kaylee, you have your owls on your channel, and that makes sense because it's in your username. Matt, who just got partnered on the channel The Whomping Willows, has willow branches everywhere, and that makes sense. <laughs> and I just wanted to see if any of you guys had ideas of what I could put on my new channel and website designs. Kaylee, I'll see you tomorrow.